Hello, welcome back. Um, as you may know, a new Wonder Woman 1984 trailer just dropped, and I wanted to talk about it because a few months ago I made a fake Wonder Woman 84 trailer just as something to do for fun to see if I could guess any of the things that might show up in the final movie. So let's take a look at some of the similarities between my fake trailer that I did a while ago and the real trailer that just came out. Both trailers fade up from black on a dramatic line about not being ready or not knowing the whole story. And then we cut to a colorful 80s style DC and Warner Brothers logos as an 80s song kicks in and becomes the score for the rest of the trailer. Then we get a really similar trailer line. Welcome to the 1980s. Welcome to the future. Then there's some kind of scene at a mall. Then Diana is surprised to see that Steve Trevor is still alive. Steve. Chris Pine? After that, there's just a montage of a lot of trailery scenes, which are accompanied by the standard trailer text of next summer, followed by some kind of tagline that hints at this film taking place in a different era. I went with the 80s are back, which is really dumb, when the real movie went with a new era of wonder begins, which is possibly equally dumb. Then we get some cool action time to the music. Game over. Followed by a title card and new costume reveal. Then there's a brief amount of more footage followed by the release date. A lot of these things are possibly coincidental and not everything lines up exactly, but I think I did pretty okay considering that all I had to work with was a few stills from that had been released of the movie and the knowledge that the movie took place in the 1980s. There is still a bunch of stuff that I didn't predict. Kristen Wiig being in the movie, I did hear that she was cast but completely forgot about that so I didn't think to include her in my version. There's a sequence where Wonder Woman is like spiking Spider-Man swinging across lightning, which is so insane that I could never have come up with it, but I'm down for it. I want to see more of that. And then the trailer ends with like a, a very classic comedic trailer line joke, which I didn't do in my version. I guess I didn't think to do that, uh, even though it's a very common trope, just because I thought the entire thing was a joke and to end on another joke doesn't really add anything. That scene is also notable for, um, I think the biggest difference between what looks to be the real version of the movie and the version that I thought we would get. In my version, I thought it would be a very similar to the last one with a lot of the same kind of fish out of water stuff with Wonder Woman where she doesn't understand man's world, but now it's in a different context because it's in the 1980s and we'd get like a scene where she goes to a record store and doesn't know what records are and shit like that. Shoulder pads for protection? No, they just make your shoulders look bigger. Why? Because it's the 1980s. But it seems like they're doing, they're, they're gonna re do a complete reversal of that uh, premise where Steve Trevor this time is the one who doesn't understand the world that he's in where Wonder Woman does. It's all art. Uh, that's just a trash can. It's just a trash can. Yeah, yeah. They flipped the whole premise on its head. How could I have possibly come up with that? That being said, structurally these trailers are pretty similar overall. And I think that says a lot about the structure of current movie trailers as well as a lot of trends in films in general. A lot of the things that are different from my version versus the real version are things like, I didn't guess the correct 80s song, or Steve Trevor is the one out of time in this movie as opposed to Wonder Woman being out of time in the, in the first one. Pretty minor things overall, which again kind of just says a lot about the state of current movies and trailers. This is like the what? like 40th movie that's set in the 80s that's come out in the last like five years. As well as just like the very, very specific structure of trailers nowadays that you can break down the formula to an exact science. There's a really great video that I'll link in the description that covers the exact formula of current movie trailers and it's one of my favorite videos. The fact that I was able to get anything close at all is in a way kind of worrying because it, it means that movies kind of are feeling more, you know, paint by numbers uh, overall. Now, I first made this trailer um, in June, I think, which was because I thought we might get a Wonder Woman trailer during Comic-Con, and I thought if I released a fake trailer, I might get a lot of accidental 
clicks and trick people into watching what is essentially just a joke. However, that didn't stop people from accidentally clicking on my video, which is where this story gets a little interesting. So if I look at the analytics of my video, um, it's got around 2,500 views, which is much more than most videos on my channel. So I'm not gonna attribute that to people purposefully searching for this video. Interestingly though, around 500 of those views are just in the last three days. That's over 20% of the entire viewing population of my video just in the last couple days. Which means that it's more than likely that they were looking for the real Wonder Woman trailer and accidentally clicked on mine. Which is exactly what I had planned. If you keep scrolling through my analytics, you'll get to see the majority of audience retention only lasts around 30 seconds. Which means that people get around 30% into the video before they click away. Uh, which is probably because they realized that it was not the real trailer. <laughs> so that's, which is also great uh, for a different reason. And then you'll also see that the like to dislike ratio is about 50%. What's great is that if you keep looking further, you'll notice in the last couple days, I've gotten angry comments on the video, which I presume are from people that were looking for the real trailer and then clicked on mine by accident and then got upset at me for making a fake one. Here are some of my favorites. What a childlike video. I expected much more. Garbage. And you should be embarrassed. <laughs> wow, that is great. Before the real trailer dropped, the only comments that I got were like, ah, oh, you got me, or hey, that's kind of funny. But now that the real trailer is out, eh, people are like really upset that they couldn't find it right away somehow. I don't know how they even found my video based on because if you search Wonder Woman trailer, it does like there's there's just dozens of the real trailer that comes up. So I don't even know how they accidentally found my video. But the fact that they did and realized that it wasn't the real video made them so angry that they had to make fun of the video and call it literal garbage is incredible. So I'm gonna chalk that up as a win for uh, tricked people that didn't want to be here. In any case, I am still excited for the Wonder Woman 1984 movie. I think Patty Jenkins is a good director and I'm glad that she's returning. And some of the action in this trailer looks really cool and inventive, especially Wonder Woman fucking spider manning through the lightning. What? I want to see more of that, please. But I'm going to give myself a big old pat on the back for, for guessing pretty close to what the tone of this movie seems to be. That being said, that's about it for me. I'm sure you've probably already seen the real Wonder Woman trailer by this point, if, but if not, uh, please do check it out. As well as, um, let me know what you think of, of the movie. Are you excited for it? Do you want to see Wonder Woman swinging from lightning? And if you haven't seen it already, check out my uh, original video right here. And um, I, I, th I had fun doing it. It's pretty stupid, but I had a good time with it. If you want to see dumb jokes, <laughs> check it out. That's about it for me. Um, thank you for watching and tune in next time for something else.